which one's a better camera mount for you? The expensive, well-known camera mount or the cheap, random monitor arm? Let's find out. So in terms of packaging, the monitor mount just comes in this big old box, whereas this obviously is in a box, but as you can see, it comes wrapped because they don't want you to damage it. Wow, how thoughtful. You know what isn't thoughtful though? You know what? I actually got you already. There's a whole process in this that you don't know about. This is the thing you have to buy. This is the mount. This is an accessory you have to buy, which is like the same price which is already like double this. Okay, I'm not actually gonna keep doing them both at the same time, so we will start with the articulating single monitor desk mount, which has not as long of a reach, but should hold substantially more weight than the Elgato one. Also, it was like stupid cheap. Oh, there's stuff in here. Well, there was. Okay, so here we have the like hardware that will go along with it. You have the clamp to put the actual monitor stuff on, and then you have the poles to attach it. Oh, and of course you have words. Wow. First off, take the poles, put the poles together. Number two, even though it's step one, you had pre-assembly, apparently. This is not step one. You need to take the poles and put them into the mounting base. The mounting base needs to screw in to the poles. Oh, and then there's a knob. If I had the capacity to show you that I know how to screw them in, I promise I would show you, but I, I don't. I can't even do it right here. Oh, this is wrong. That was a joke, by the way. I intentionally did it wrong. I'm not saying that because I feel stupid. Okay, this really isn't working. <laughs> yeah, so I pretty much need to be able to do everything one-handed or I just can't show it off, but here you go. Uh, I already see issues with this. This is way too tall, uh, but we'll, you know, we'll cross that whenever we get there. We need to make this look something like this, except with the screws. You can see there are holes right there. And what do you know? There are holes right there. There's padding right there. There's not right there. You want that. I think my favorite thing about this is you're only supposed to use two bolts for the four holes, which is exactly how I would have designed it. <laughs> After way too much effort, the screw that went in here has now been removed. I wanted to try to measure it. Um, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm not 100% sure what the size is because uh, I was comparing it to the sizing of these, which are in millimeters and i don't even know what this is like a three eighths so i'm hoping this is a one fourth and i have to order some parts now also if i knew that was the decision i was going to make i probably would have just kept the original screw in there and put some sort of adapter on top of it instead of getting a new screw that has both one side fitting to go in here and the other to go in the ball head but uh you know here we are whatever so i put a different uh screw on this monitor mount as you can see this is the cheap one and uh there was absolutely no need for me to do that it's the same to fit this as the other one and it was really difficult to get the other one out and i could barely get that one in at all so probably uh don't do that so this right here is the original, the actual like Elgato mount. This is what it comes in. It's pretty sturdy because it just is a pole that stands up. Having these adjustment knobs is really nice though. Being able to, it, it can go really high. You can definitely do a lot with it. The only part that's kind of weird is the actual mount itself. This thing is not incredibly sturdy. It's okay. Like if I wanted to just, if I didn't want to have to rely on just this piece, then you're absolutely in good hands. And I still think that the product overall is like pretty dang good. Maybe a little more than I'd like to pay for it. But now I'm going to go to the multi-mount, which I think might work. I don't know if I'm not a hundred percent sold on the structure, like the rigidity of this holding up something heavy. 
and this uses the same system i don't know that i'm gonna be happy but i kind of have to like buy it to find out yo what's up multi-mount guess what oh we're <laughs> i didn't mean to do that wow the packaging honestly is just awful i can't believe they threw everything around like that yeah so i imagine it looked something like this before i started shaking it um and pretty much these just interlock into each other and on the existing mount and you can get whatever variety of reach you need my biggest concern is weight but we'll uh you know we'll test it out i have something to put on here that's within the rating they give but i've heard that they maybe are a little generous well i broke it no just kidding so um it is just a ball and clamp and a screw to clamp it down so you unscrew it take the ball out put a new ball in and mix and match until you get exactly what you need what the heck is that is that the mount with a head and a camera at the end yeah so it is actually working as intended i do have to say this is like pretty sturdy actually but whenever i added i literally what i did is i had this lower and i had one of these and then i had a second one that was attached to the camera and it was it was a no-go i will set that back up and see if i can get it to work um i ended up doing this for one less of these should mean more structural integrity but for two it was too long like i, I don't need that much all right so here we go i got two of them on obviously the angle of approach could very well dictate how well these hold but i have these as tight as they go i mean i the same tightness as i had it before I'm holding this up. Yeah, that's, um, I don't trust that. I would not use that. I don't know if that is because this one's a long one. If I use the short one, if it would be any different, but, uh, that's not, that's not gonna work. So should you get this, should you go ahead and go out of your way and spend like 20 bucks on this big old monitor arm to be able to hook up a overhead rig to have a camera situated on here it's very easy to get a ball head on here it's pretty sturdy i mean you just kind of wrench it down you know you get your allen keys and go around this is i think 17 inches of reach which for most modern desks they're only like i think 24 deep so you really cover most of the area there you probably don't need anything if you're going this way you're good if you're going that way yeah you know you, you might be good you might not be and then we have the elgato multi-mount this thing is very versatile you could put attachments on it they sell like a little clamp on here by versatile i mean you can buy more things for it they have this different head that i obviously went over and we have set up on here now i think one is the way to go this is a different camera than what i had before this is a little bit lighter this is a g7 panasonic g7 it is very sturdy on here i definitely trust this to not bonk me in the head i think that this is great and i will have a good time with it and this is also great now let me uh let me show you them side by side so the number one gripe i have about the cheap one is this is not adjustable the pole and it's literally too tall to go in my setup this is absolutely a deal breaker for me in this particular regard it may very well work for you so i literally can't even show you them side by side I think my TLDR on this, I think my conclusion for this is if you want something solid and sturdy, you go with this bad boy right here. You get a monitor arm. This thing is heavy duty. If the height doesn't bother you on it and you don't need a ton of features, you know, it's literally just like an L or a T maybe. Anyway, there's a pole that sticks up and a pole that goes out. If that's what you need, I say go for it. But if you want something a little more versatile and you don't have a really heavy camera, I'd say consider getting the Elgato if you don't mind spending a little bit extra. Now, the thing about this is you could rig this out a little bit too. You could put attachments onto here. If you're willing to get a little weird, willing to go a little DIY, you can just start clamping things onto here and it'll work pretty well. This right here is just a normal like desk mount. And this is like an actual, it's a small rig clamp. 
and I mean they're on there this thing can hold some weight I mean it's supposed to hold up monitors so it can support like 25 pounds if you need a big old structure machine here you are definitely going to get it I could absolutely put my big black magic camera on here um, that the, the Elgato would not do that. I think it says it supports five pounds, but I couldn't even get that whenever I added on one more uh, little clamp thing on there. And here you go. Right here is my overhead cam. I think it works really well. Something to note is this, see this, I'm shaking this. If I move the desk, if you don't have a super sturdy desk, you're gonna be shaken while you're doing this. So uh, if that's something that bothers you, Make sure you don't mount it directly to the desk. That's just something inherent with mounting things to desks. If the desk moves and the mount's attached, then whatever's attached to the mount will move with it. So that's really it. I think both of these solutions are pretty great. I think it really just depends on how much money you want to spend and what kind of setup you're going for. I think both of them can work in different scenarios. Unfortunately, the pole's a little too tall. Uh, it seems pretty sturdy. I don't know if I could cut through it or something. I certainly am not gonna do that anytime soon, mostly because I own both of these and I don't really need to use the really heavy one in this spot because I already have another way to set it up, but maybe you don't have that and maybe that's something you want to look into. I don't know if you have any recommendations for things you'd like to see in the future, please let me know. And uh, until the next one, take care. Goodbye.